By now I bet you've been working with Friendly Plastic and you've gathered quite a few little pieces, little scrap pieces along the way. Before you throw those out, I want you to check out today's project because I'm going to show you ways to use those little bits and pieces to make a great jewelry pendant. That's the topic of today's Friendly Plastic TV. using the strips of friendly plastic to make uh, this pendant here. I wanted to give you a good close-up of the pendant. It is um, actually a little palm tree on top of a glass marble. And there's the close-up. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut out and shape our pieces. So pretty easy. Um, you can either find a strip of uh, gold plastic that's already cut into a triangle with a long point, or you can just simply cut one with scissors. Mine is about, it's a little less than a quarter of an inch uh, in width down here, and it comes to a very sharp point on this end, and it's about an inch and a half long. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut out the leaves of our palm tree and to do this I'm just going to cut small triangles on a diag diagonal. Cut about four of these and you don't have to be um, real careful about getting the, them round. I know they don't look like leaves at all but as soon as the plastic is heated uh, then we'll round out the leaves and make them more of a palm tree shape. I'm using the heat tool method today and um, I think this works really well. It, uh, oven method also works really well or you could use a griddle. But I'm using the heat tool method and I am heating up the trunk of the tree. And as the tree gets, or as this trunk gets hotter, you're going to notice that the sides are going to round a little bit. And that's how you can tell if your plastic is ready. Make sure that you have your leaves um, away from the heat because we don't want those to melt yet. Let's see if this is ready. Yes, it's ready. And now I'm going to arrange my leaves onto the palm tree. So I'm putting the cold uh, plastic onto warm plastic. and arrange them like this. We heat the plastic up, that way we can um, arrange and put the leaves where we want them and we know that they will stay. So when you have them arranged, the next thing we're going to do is apply heat to these. Okay, I've actually turn this upside down to you so that I can work on it and I'm going to zoom in on the camera so that you can watch me. I'm going to use the point of my needle tool to manipulate uh, the leaves where I want them to go. And this is when I can soften up any of the sharp edges. I can point them down a little bit. Remember you have black on the back of your plastic. So try not to pull that up. And I'm going to give them some shape. So I'm just using my needle tool. Uh, a needle tool or a corsage pin works best for this. Uh, toothpicks don't work so well because the wood tends to stick to the plastic. So try to get a corsage, something that has a point. Right now I'm just adding the shape of the leaves. And as I'm working, um, you're going to notice, and I'm noticing, that my plastic is cooling off. After you get your leaf shape, then you can go back in. Whoops, looks like I've cooled off a little bit. Let's heat that up again. Remember, friendly plastic is a heat and cool type of process. So you heat up a little bit, you let it cool off, you heat up a little bit more, let it cool off. I'm just going to go in with my needle tool and I'm going to give it some texture like it is palm tree. Let's bring some of this green over. 
close those gaps a little bit. It looks like we have the beginnings of a palm tree. Next we're going to add some little bits of grass to kind of um, anchor, make our palm tree look like it has a base. And what I've done is I have cut little tiny slivers of the green plastic, and I mean little tiny slivers. And I've heated them. Okay, so you can see how I'm setting them in there. If friendly plastic looks like something you would like to try and have never tried it before, I would highly recommend classes. There's classes on the web that you can take um, that teach you the basics of working with friendly plastic. There's just a little bit of learning curve, but it's not bad. I really think you'll enjoy the process, and I think you'll be surprised at how successful you are in a rather short amount of time. Okay. So we've got a little bit of grass. We've anchored our palm tree uh, down to the base. It's still a little warm, so let's let it cool off on its own, and that way we'll prevent warping. After it's completely cool, uh, you'll have a nice palm tree that you can just lift off of your nonstick work surface. And we're going to apply this to our glass marble. Now, um, we're just going to heat this up enough to set it down onto the marble so that it, it uh, takes the shape, the round shape of the, the marble. So um, you're going to have to play around with the, temp or the uh, time a little bit. You don't want this so hot that it just uh, completely melts all the texture away. So it's a little bit of heat and then remove it. A little bit of heat and remove it. You'll start to see it over here. You can see it slump, kind of like glass. It's doing the same thing on the other side. So you can see that it just took a couple of seconds for that to take place. If you have um, distorted anything or if you have removed any of the texture, because the heat will do that, you can go back in and redo that with your needle tool and refine it a little bit and then let this cool on its own. When it is completely cool, what you'll want to do is uh, you'll want to remove the uh, palm tree off of your glass marble. You'll see that it has the shape of the marble and then you'll want to glue it down either with some diamond glaze or with some E6000 glue and let that glue dry. And then just to give it a nice coat, I like to give it a real light coat or a couple of light coats of the diamond glaze or you can use glossy accents. Um, it just helps seal the design to the glass marble and that way it won't pop off. The other thing that you need to do is you need to get your uh, bale. This is one of those that glue on the back. And let me show you here on the one that I already have finished. Right here, all I've done is I've just glued it uh, to the back of the glass marble. And this is what it looks like on the front. So let's take a look at our finished project. Well, as you can see, it just doesn't take a lot of plastic to make a great little jewelry pendant. And it's fun, too. You can get more project ideas and inspiration on our blog at friendlyplastic.blogspot.com. While you're there, be sure to email us because we want to hear from you. You can also take online courses. And so if you're new to Friendly Plastic, I really encourage you to take one of those because it's lots of information that will really help you get started. That's going to do it for this episode of Friendly Plastic TV. I'm your host, Linda Peterson, and I'll see you back next time with another idea on how to turn those little bits and pieces into some great designer jewelry.